Let's look at one more brush. If you go over here, we're talking about what's called the Mixer Brush Tool. Incidentally, the file we're using is 127 underscore 264447 JPEG. It's from our friends at Photospin. Now, the Mixer Brush Tool is kind of like using some of the filters under the filter gallery, except you're controlling them with a brush as opposed to the whole thing working with the click of a button. It's up to you. If I come over here, we're at default, and I come over here and I begin painting. Now watch what happens. Kind of looks like your finger painting, doesn't it? It's not a bad analogy in some ways that this tool is conformed. It's kind of like when you were a kid and you used to finger paint. Now let me press undo. I'm going to come over here, number one, and create a new layer, because here's a feature of this tool I do like. We have the ability to sample all layers and do the work in a blank layer, non-destructive editing. Over here, what do we got? Well, number one, we have a color. Now we can tell the computer to load the brush with that color or clean the brush or load solid colors only. So our color right now is this one right down here. What are these two buttons? This one is load the color after each stroke, and this one is clean the brush after each stroke. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and turn both of those off. So now they're off. Over here we have all these different ways that the canvas is going to be. Is it going to be wet? Is it going to be really wet? Is it going to be dry? I'm going to take that to dry to show you something. So we have a dry canvas with a brush that has no color. And if I come over here, I would be absolutely surprised if anything happened, because if I were in the real world, I would be rubbing a dry brush over a dry canvas. So that's how this works. Now let me make that brush a little bit bigger. When we come over here, let's change the canvas to, say, a moist one. Again, we are working, I love this, in a separate layer. But if I begin playing around again, as you see, it will begin messing it up again. Now, we are using brushes that are way too big for what we're doing, and I'll explain that in a second. Let me go ahead and press Control A, Delete, because since we are in a blank layer, we can do that. Over here, when you change from moist to wet, or really wet, or really, really, really wet, these numbers here change. So, in other words, you can create your own mix over here of how wet the canvas is, how much paint gets loaded, how much the two colors mix together and the flow or the percentage of the color that's being sent to the brush. Now, if we come over here again, remember this is to clear the brush off after each stroke, and this one is to load the brush after each stroke. Let's do this. It will give us a good idea on how this works and how it relates to the real world. So we're leaving both of these options off, loading and cleaning. Now, cleaning's the important one. We have a light, mix on a wet canvas. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to begin playing. Okay, changing the turret. I think that's called a turret. I'm going to let go and come over here and watch what happens. Well, I didn't tell it to clean the brush. So it's assuming I want to use some of that color. Let's do this. Control A, delete. Starting all over again. This time we're going to tell it to clean the brush. Just that one. Come over here again and begin my finger painting exercise. Come over here. Didn't bring the paint. I told it to clean the brush. This is a very real world kind of thing. However, I will admit, let me go ahead and get rid of this stuff again, that the type of brushes that you need with this type of tool are not cute little round brushes. What you need is brushes like these. Like say this one right here, which is like a fan brush. We come over here again, you've got this nice big brush over here. We can make that smaller by using the left and right bracket keys. And although I'm doing this just to give an idea to you of what it does, it works better with these types of brushes because you have actually brush strokes coming into it. So let me show you something. I'm gonna stop it's going to take about 15 or 20 minutes for me to do this. I'm going to come back so the screen's going to fade. It's going to come back and show you what I can do with this tool and what you can do with this tool 
if you spend the time. Small brushes, small strokes. You ready? Let's go. Okay, there you go. Now you can't really see much on it yet because it's kind of small. So let me pick up the zoom tool and start zooming in. Now this took me about 15 or 20 minutes to do. And it does, I will admit, look very similar to things that you can achieve with the filter gallery. But this way, in a sense, is more customized. I can click a button in the filter gallery, combine a couple of filters together and get something that looks kind of like this if I want to apply it to the entire image. But what I did was use very, as you can see, I used very small brush strokes over each one of those areas and slowly went around the image to get the effect that I wanted. So to me, this particular tool, the color mixer tool, is like the filter gallery, but you control the filter gallery through a brush. On to the next.